I am just waiting. I'm having you join me while I finish up my sloppy joes. Um, show you what I do for that, but also I want to do a check-in at the um, for the use what you have challenge because we are on week number four. So I'll just give a few minutes to let people join. Um, but as always, I will make this an IGTV, like I always do, because um, I know not everybody can get on when things are live. Um, so, anyways, that's kind of what I'm doing here, is I'm just, <laughs> uh, my meat is almost done cooking, so I'm adding in my onion now. I'm gonna put it in my slow cooker, so the onions are gonna soften even more in there, but I don't add them in right away, because sometimes they burn. Um, especially because my meat was still kind of frozen, so. Anyways, I did season my meat um, in there as well, but I'm gonna show you what I do. They're like super easy sloppy joes. You probably have everything. Um, they're not complicated. I hope you can hear me over my bread maker. I'm working on the buns for the sloppy joes. So, um, just gonna put the onions in there, let them cook for just a little while in there, and then I'm gonna throw them in the slow cooker, um, the meat and the onions in the slow cooker. So. But I just wanted to check in. I'm gonna throw this in the sink quick. Okay. Um, get my slow cooker ready. So um, I can show you what I'm doing. But um, I just wanted to check in because we are week four of the Use What You Have Challenge. And um, if you've been joining me <laughs> and uh, using what you have and spending minimal at the store, you're probably getting to where <laughs> It's harder to come up with meals. Um, <clears throat> so for the first week I spent, I think it was like 18 or $19. Um, the next week was 22, the next week was 23, and then this week was just under 19. Um, my goal was $20 a week. Um, so I did pretty good overall, um, only going over by a few dollars. So um, when I think about that in the whole month, I actually spent less than I would have typically on a week's worth of groceries. I think it's pretty great. Um, if you follow along, it worked out perfectly because we had a lot of unexpected um, repairs and bills. So it worked out really well to have planned the Use What You Have Challenge when we ended up having all those repairs. So, um, so I want to know how it's going. Um, we have two days after this week um, that are part of January, so I will probably carry over um, <clears throat> into next week the Use What You Have Challenge um, just so I did the full month of January um, and actually into February I plan on continuing but I'm going to allow myself more than $20 because that was really really tight uh, I'm going to mix this meat up um, so so for the Sloppy Joes I'm just letting those onions soften with the meat the meat's pretty much already cooked um, just letting it soften then I'll throw it in my crock pot but um, yeah, so it's, it was difficult, and if you were joining me, you probably felt that same thing, that it was really hard to not spend a lot of money, um, and when I went into Target yesterday, because I've really been avoiding most of the big stores, I did a Walmart order pickup one time, or no, I'm sorry, a Target order pickup one time, and Aldi two other times, so, and then our local Quick Trip sells bread and milk and stuff like that, so I was going there, so. I was really shocked to see how empty the shelves were at Target yesterday, um, and it made me like, I felt like I chose the wrong month <laughs> to do the Use What You Have Challenge, but it's okay, um, because it showed me that in a pinch I can definitely cook things at home without needing to go to the store, um, and there were substitutes of things that I could have bought, but it would have put me over 20, so I decided not to use them, so, um, we had the money, I just chose not to use it because I really wanted to stick with that $20. So, um, yeah, so I want to know how it went for you. Um, are you going to do the last, so after this week, are you going to do the last two days in January? Um, are you going to continue on? I am going to continue emptying my freezer as much as I can. I do have a big Azure Standard order going, um, but as far as like a big purchase, um, grocery haul, I'm going to wait um, until March to do mine because I want to like empty my freezer and do a restock so I will allow myself more money in February but I'm going to continue on with the challenge because I think it's fun and trying recipes that maybe I wouldn't have tried 
I'm using up things that would probably have gone expired. Um, because we all do that. We buy things because they're on sale and then we use them and or don't use them and then they expire and you know it's a waste of food. So um, okay, so back to my sloppy joe. So I'll show you really quick how I do it. It's so easy. So um, I've got my slow cooker, and the reason why I'm doing this meal today is my daughter has um, <coughs> excuse me, um, play practice tonight at 5. My husband doesn't get home till 6, 6.30, so we're all going to be eating at different times. So this is great because everybody can dish theirs out of here and eat when they need to. So I am going to um, throw my meat into my slow cooker, and this is two packages of Costco's meat, and... Costco's are a little over a pound, so um, this is a little over two pounds. I would say it's probably close to two and a half. And I seasoned the meat um, with pepper and onion and garlic powder and then chopped up onions in it. So that is all in there. Um, so I'll add a little more. So this is more um, granulated garlic. I like the Costco ones. This is a lot of meat. You need a lot of seasoning, so they taste good. Um, and I typically don't add salt to anything because there's salt in, like, everything, and I just don't think we need all the extra. So um, this is onion powder again. Actually, this one is from Sam's Club. And then some pepper because pepper, of course, gives good flavor. So that's it for, like, seasoning. I will sometimes use um, ground mustard if I don't have regular mustard, but I do have regular mustard, so I will put some regular mustard in here. I don't put a lot. I don't measure anything <laughs> when I'm making my sloppy just I just throw it in there until it looks good and saucy. So you can adjust according to your liking. Um, so I'll add some. This is ketchup. I will add some, and then I'll mix it, and then I'll add some more. Um, and some barbecue sauce. This is not my preferred kind, but this is all that I could find. If you can tell me where to buy it's Kinder or Kinder um, barbecue sauce, please tell me because I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I got it at Costco for a while and then they stopped carrying it. I assume they had it over the summer because it was, you know, barbecue season. So, um, so this is what making do with what we have. So, barbecue sauce, and I will probably end up adding more to these. Um, once I get it all mixed to see how saucy it is. And then the last thing that I add in is a little bit of brown sugar. You do not have to do this. I like them sweet. You could probably do molasses too if you wanted to. Um, but I'm almost out and I don't want to use the last of it. So brown sugar. So a little bit of brown sugar. Um, and then just kind of mix it all together. And then um, it does get saucier as it, you know, cooks in here. Um, so you can mix it up, you can let it go for a little while, and then add in some more. But that's all I do for my Sloppy Joes. I've got my buns um, in my bread maker right now, making the dough, and then I will um, form them into buns, let them rise again, bake them, and um, we're going to have cheese curds with it. So that's that. Sloppy Joes. <laughs> Easy. Um, like I said, you probably have everything on hand. You can make buns. Um, you do not have to have a bread maker. I know there are tons of recipes, so if you don't have one, don't feel like you can't. But So you could probably make this with everything you have on hand without going to the store. You have chips for the side, fruit for the side, green beans, whatever you want, baked beans. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.